sweet potatoes, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, turkey, stuffing, and gravy is still to come. You probably can't see these marks too well, but this is where the feet of the clawfoot tub go. So I'm going to put a joist right across here. Don't worry about how I did the angles on that. Now that it's all one piece, I'm going to pick it up, put it on the table, and put some joists on it, overkill style. Then I could put it down and level it the way I need it to be, and you'll see. So to prevent it from racking, I'm going to put this furry strip hold it in place.
Well, that's going to be it for tonight, but don't go away. We still have more to do in the morning, and this video isn't over. We're going to be putting some more wood into this foundation, but it's not going to change much. The next thing is to frame for the half wall that goes behind the vanity. Because this wall is on an 8x8 beam, it's more ideal to go through a secondary wall. I like it best when the plumbing goes through the back of the cabinet rather than the floor of the cabinet. It makes for more room under the sink for storage. See you in the morning.
Okay, so here we go. I've established the half wall that goes behind the vanity. I'm going to stick to the 16 inch on center studs as much as possible, but there's going to have to be a space where the plumbing goes through, and that could need to be manipulated. So we'll see what happens. Then after the vanity comes the linen closet. But what I think I need to do is put that vanity together so I can make my measurements off of it directly. So let's get going on that. They go in there. Reversible, it goes either way. And of course, mm. I don't know if this is reversible. Oh, it's this way because it's got the ridge in the bottom of it. Okay, Dad, stand up and. Come down to the bottom of the cabinet for the thing in. Oh, there it is. Pick, pick up and let me get one in. That one went in, and this one is going to go in. You've got to go on that channel, too. Yeah. The old pipes are going to interfere with me trying to do this, but I don't know exactly how close I want that to the tub platform, but we'll find out. Alrighty, and there we go. Now that I have a nice visual reference to figure out what I'm doing here, can just keep going. There's a couple different variables as to how far away I'm going to have the vanity from the platform of the tub, but it's pretty close to where it's going to be for right now. Okay, so this looks like a good point to conclude this video. If you're interested in finding out how this bathroom turns out, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to smash the little bell button so that you could be notified to the next videos coming out. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next time on the Vineyard Farmhouse. Bye for now. I have never seen a turkey blow its back off. I thought somebody ate it. But it just blew up. Oh yeah? You're looking at me? What? What?